Hi everyone, today we're going to study Weibull distribution, particularly the PDF or probability density function, the CDF or we say cumulative distribution function, the mean or the expectation and variance. Let's begin with the PDF or probability density function. The random variable t with probability density function, this is the formula. The f of t is equal to the fraction beta over alpha times the quantity, the fraction t over alpha, that is raised to beta minus 1, times the exponential of the quantity negative of the fraction t over alpha, that is raised to an exponent beta. Here, the t is greater than 0, or t is positive. It's a Weibull random variable with scale parameter alpha that is greater than 0, which means positive, and shape parameter beta greater than 0, or beta is positive. Where beta is also called the slope, of the curve. When beta equals 1, Weibull distribution is identical to the exponential distribution. Now, the Weibull PDF or probability density function contains two parameters, alpha and beta. The scale parameter that is alpha reflects the size of the units in which the random variable t is measured. The shape parameter beta causes the shape of the distribution to vary. By changing the values of alpha and beta respectively, we can generate a widely varying set of curves to model real lifetime failure distributions. This is now the effect of different shape parameters beta. We have here four curves. The alpha is constant and that is equal to 1. And the values of beta vary. So we can see the different graphs in here. We have now the effect of different scale parameters alpha. In our example, we have two graphs. The beta here is held constant at 2.6 with different values of alpha. And we have these two graphs. Let's have now the cumulative distribution function or CDF. We use capital F of T as symbol. This is equal to P of capital T is less than or equal to small t, which is equal to 1 minus exponential of the negative of the fraction T over alpha that is raised to beta. Now, the expectation and variance. The mean is also called the expectation. So we write here the E of X. And we have this formula. Alpha times the quantity 1 plus 1 over beta. For the variance, we use the V of capital X. And we have this big formula that involves alpha and beta with some numbers involved. But there is another symbol here that is gamma. And this gamma is equal to the gamma of value r is equal to r minus 1, which is factorial. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.